Subscribe to Shubham Technical for latest technology video. Click on bell icon for latest update of technology videos. Hello and welcome to this session. This session is dedicated to serial communication. So as this is the first chapter, we will see what is serial communication and we will also at the end look into a simple hello world example. Serial communication is a transmission protocol uh, based on RS-232 which uses two-wire transmission for transmitter and receiving signals. Traditionally, serial communication uses nine wire which is a DB9 connector normally you might have seen in your desktops or old laptops but today the most standard procedure is using two wire communication RX and TX. I'm sure you already have uh, located RX and TX lines on Arduino board. Here we have so RX means receiving and TX means transmission. So Arduino has a pair of RX and TX line which is one serial port and which is also used for programming the board and after programming you can use the serial uh, ports which is this pin number 0 and 1 for serial communication as well. So keep in mind if you are using pin number 0 and 1 as digital input output you may not be able to use serial communication. For such conditions we have software serial library which can make any other pin of Arduino uh, as serial input output but that we can see in a separate chapter. Coming to IDE we have a serial monitor right here at the right right hand side which says serial monitor. When you click on it you will find an empty uh, dialog which has a one a text entry field and a send button. Others you have here a baud rate control. So baud rate is nothing but bits per second. It's the speed through which you communicate with the devices. So serial communication is normally uh, one to one communication. So both the devices receiver and sender should agree to one baud rate. So normally we communicate from PC to our Arduino. So the default communication speed is 9600. So 9600 baud rate. So here are some other factors like no line ending, new line, carriage return, etc. which we will see whenever it comes. Auto scroll, we will see when it is required. So let me close the serial monitor. And let's get into a simple program. So you need not to in uh, include any library for serial monitor. It's straight built in. All you need to write is serial.begin. 9600 it's a baud rate which you have seen just now and here you can write serial dot print hello world void loop so this will continuously print hello world on serial loop on serial device so control u to upload the program you can see this TX and RX LED will blink for a while and now you can see the TX line is continuously glowing. The reason is it is sending uh, hello world program, sorry it is sending the hello world string to its serial transmission line. So if you open the serial monitor You can go to tools, serial monitor, which says control shift plus M. And here you can see hello world continuously scrolling. The reason is we kept it in a continuous loop. And let's give it some delay, say 100 millisecond. And also we have a function serial.println, which will, which will insert a new line after each print statement. So you need not to uh, remember these uh, functions for serial, it's all well documented in the documentation. Now you can see, let me press Control shift m to invoke serial monitor. 
now it says hello world on a new line and you can see if auto scroll is checked it will scroll automatically and if I stop it won't scroll you have to manually scroll from here if I change the baud rate it may not work it fails you can see there are some unidentified fonts identified characters because of the mismatch in baud rate speed it's back fine so that's all for this session so before we leave let me show you some serial uh, libraries where you know how to get into documentation help find in reference so I'm sure this will bring up a serial documentation and here you can see the functions which are available for serial so we have used serial.begin and serial.print and println so you can explore these functions by yourself or anyway in other programs other experiments we will go through them that's all for this session see you in next